The Python SDK exists as a companion tool for the HiRISE API. It is designed to simplify the bot building process by handling the underlying technical aspects. In this tutorial, we will walk you through setting up a HiRISE bot using a Mac. Our first step here is to open up our terminal and install a package manager called Homebrew. The way we do that is by going to the official Homebrew website, which is brew.sh. And we're going to copy in the command right here and paste it into our terminal. I already have Homebrew installed on my machine, so I'm not going to download it, but the installation should be super simple and take maybe five to 10 minutes to install. So after you've installed Homebrew, the next step will be to install Python at version 3.11, which is the version of Python currently recommended for the high-rise bot SDK. To install it, we simply type the command brew install python at 3.11. Again, I already have it installed on my machine, uh, but it should be a super straightforward installation. Now that we have Python 3.11 installed with Homebrew, we are now ready to start developing our high rise bot. The first thing we want to do is to navigate to a directory where we want to work on our high rise bot. We recommend creating a new folder specifically for this purpose. I've already navigated to a folder called bots and have opened the directory with my code editor, VS Code. The next thing we want to do is to set up a virtual environment for Python. And we do that by typing Python 3.11 M BENV and then dot BENV and then hitting enter. And this will create our virtual environment uh, as shown right here. The next step is to install the HiRISE bot SDK. And the command for doing that is .venv slash bin slash pip, and then install HiRISE bot SDK at version 23.1.0.b10, uh, which is the latest version of the SDK currently. And then we hit enter. Now, uh, once the installation is complete, we're ready to start programming our bot. In this example, we will be using the Echo bot provided in the HiRISE Create portal, which we can find by going to Learn and then Basics. The Echo bot simply prints out everything it sees happening in the HiRISE room to our terminal. Uh, so what we're going to do is copy the Echo bot code and put it in a file called echo.py. Uh, so here I'll just paste in the Echo bot code. In order to run the bot, we will need two pieces of information, the API token and the room ID. You can obtain the API token by again, navigating to the HiRISE create portal, going to dashboard, and you can just click on new bot, uh, confirm that you've read the disclaimer and then uh, give a username to your new bot. And then you will see uh, a generated API token. And we're gonna copy that and uh, the other piece of information we need is a room ID, which I've already prepared right here, but the room ID can be found within the HiRISE app by going to the room you want the bot to be in, making sure you're either the owner of that room or have designer privileges, and then clicking on the share this room button in the room info panel. And that's going to generate a URL where you can then just take the ID of the room and uh, we can use it to run our bot. So what we do next is we type in the command .venv slash bin slash pyrise, and then the file name of our bot, which in this case is echo.py, so I'm going to put echo, and then a colon, and then we were going to need the name of the class that implements the high-rise base bot, which in this case is called bot. So I'm going to type bot, followed by a space, and then the next thing we need is the room ID, which I've prepared right here, followed by a space. And then lastly is the API token, which is right here. Next, if I press enter, this is going to run our bot and connect to the specified high rise room as indicated right here. And now our echo bot is going to start echoing the events that it sees. And that's it. Uh, that's everything you need to get started on running a high rise bot on a Mac. 